lists, France, um, Amber Plus. It should never have been on the Amber Plus list to start with. Uh, you weren't even involved in that decision making, were you? Well, usually, um, as you know, the decisions are made on a three-week circulating basis. So uh, the end of next week would be the next um, decisions on traffic lights. But, and we've always said this, it's really important that when new evidence comes to light, uh, if it's uh, of, of concern, uh, we don't sit on that information. So uh, an out-of-schedule change was made uh, for France onto the Amber Plus list. That was because of specific concern about a beta uh, variant there. Uh, and, uh, of course, if if we didn't act as a government, people would say, well, why didn't you do anything about it? You knew you didn't do anything. I'd be on your programme defending not doing anything, which would be crazy. So, of course, as soon as the information is there, the government has to uh, act on it, monitor it and take the best evidence and, from the scientists, which is what's happened You're here. You're being economical with the actuality there. You say that uh, there was a, a Delta variant in France. It wasn't. It was on the Reunion Island, which is thousands of miles away. Uh, it's the beta uh, variant. Uh, but okay, no, the beta one, forgive over. me. OK, yeah. the point uh, remains but, that that's why you put it yeah. on the list, sir. Forgive me, I, I, I mixed up the uh, variants. That was the reason that you changed the list. You weren't even involved that, in that decision-making. It was the Department of Health that announced it. Well, as I say, sometimes there will be uh, concerns. The Department of Health, obviously, is the lead department for, for these things, and they will um, act uh, as soon as they see a problem. Um, yeah, the beta variant, it's not just, uh, as has been reported, on an island thousands of miles away. It was also an issue in, in particular, northern France. So uh, it's, it has been a, a, an overall concern. And, and look, the big concern is that we don't allow a variant in which somehow is able to escape the vaccine program that we've got. We don't want to have got this far with vaccinations. We're just getting towards 90% of all adults having been vaccinated and then throw it all away because uh, a variant that the vaccine perhaps couldn't handle uh, came in. Now, all the evidence and all of that um, is being pulled together. The latest research on um, how the vaccine works with the beta variant, the scale of the beta variant in France and the rest of it. Uh, and then these decisions will, of course, be constantly reviewed, which is exactly what will happen. It's interesting because the French disagree. They, uh, the Europe Minister, Clément Baume, says it's excessive and it's frankly incomprehensible on health grounds. It's not based on science and it's discriminatory towards the French. Well, look, I, I, as I say, no, it's always disappointing for any country to be, uh, you know, any, anything other but on our green list. I, I appreciate that. I spoke to my opposite number, Jean-Baptiste, uh, just yesterday, uh, and we're, we're, we're agreed. We will always try and follow... Uh, we'll always follow the science on these things uh, and, uh, and and make sure that, you know, as we can be satisfied over whichever the variants are and whatever the prevalence is, um, that the Joint Biosecurity Centre recommendations to us are followed. Uh, and uh, if they tell us there are problems, then we need to follow those those problems to the logical conclusion. Um, but look, I'm, I'm looking forward to the whole world being more accessible. Fortunately, this week, I've been able to announce um, a, a effectively a big reopening ability for people to visit here where they've been double vaccinated uh, for uh, most of Europe and, uh, and America. And so we're moving in the right direction. I know it's painful, but I think that generally speaking, your viewers probably want to see us be cautious rather than sort of gung ho on this. And, and that's exactly what we're trying to do. I think what they want is straight answer. So let's try this one. Google Netflix, uh, among others, saying that staff need to be double jabbed before uh, they can return to the office in groups. Dominic Raab was on the programme yesterday. He thought that that was uh, a good idea. What do you think? I think obviously being jabbed is massively important. It's important for you as an individual, but it's also important for your, your friends and your, your loved ones and for people that you don't even know who could pick up this uh, virus if we don't take all the protections uh, that are possible. Fortunately, in this country, uh, I know, as opposed to uh, in the US where, where Google are uh, 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 headquartered. Fortunately, in this country, we have very little vaccine hesitancy. I mentioned overall that adults are uh, just approaching 90% of all adults are uh, vac first vaccinated and 70%, and over 70% second vaccinated. So there's not much hesitancy here. And as there we is. were just discussing, I mean, there is, things isn't like there? I mean, the youth, uh, there's only, there's a third, uh, two thirds of the youth have been vaccinated up to the age of 30. So that's not true. Uh, a lot of these people will want to come back to work at some stage. If they don't have two jabs, should they be allowed back in the office? 
Yeah, so so I mean, it is true that overall, all adults uh, of all adults, uh, it's sort of ninety percent, nearly ninety percent uh, are vaccinated. You're right that within the sort of twenty and thirty year olds, uh, it's fewer. That's partly, of course, because they've been offered it more recently. But they will need to get vaccinated if they want to travel internationally again. Uh, it's quite clear it's now that the, the path. It's not Sorry. my question. If you can just give me a straight answer to my question, Mr Shouts, that would be great. Do you think, like your colleague, the Foreign Secretary, thinks that it is a good idea for people to be uh, double-jabbed and they should need to be double-jabbed before they go back to the office? Yes, it's a good idea. And yes, some companies will require it. We're not going to make that legislation that every adult has to be double vaccinated before they go back okay. to the office. But yes, it's a good idea. And yes, some companies will require it. Thank you for clarifying that. Let me ask you about the fact that Wales are dropping self-isolation on the 7th of August and Scotland on the 9th of August, Northern Ireland the 12th of August. For people who have been double vaccinated, they no longer need to quarantine if they're pinged. Should we look again at the 16th of August here in the United Kingdom, uh, in England? We're always keeping on a very close um, review. The reality is um, that people uh, putting themselves in, in self-isolation um, has been a factor in saving a lot of lives uh, because uh, it turns out that one in three people who are requested to self-isolate do end up developing the symptoms. Um, so it's, if you like, the only remaining measure that's being taken at the moment um, because, of course, all the other measures have been dropped at the, at the fourth unlock stage on the 19th of July. It's the only measure that remains. So we're being, if you like, slightly cautious uh, about it, um, but we have got systems in place now where testing can take place at 2,000 different locations. Uh, we'll have uh, uh, key workers to be tested so that they don't have to self-isolate in advance of um, the uh, the 16th of August, when we will then not require people to self-isolate, but instead be tested uh, if okay. they are pinged or asked, or asked to self-isolate. Is it in Stone? It's the 16th of August in Stone for England, despite what the other nations are doing? Yeah, right now, that is the date. We'll always keep these things under review, but I don't want to open up false hope for you. We, we uh, It's not too far away now, not two and a half weeks or, or so. Uh, and I think, um, as I say, it's the only... Uh, lever that we have, and it will be protecting the spread of the virus. But of course, you know, every day the the, the new data comes out. We look very closely at it. We'll adjust um, uh, our approach. But right now, uh, I haven't seen anything which suggests that we shouldn't wait until the 16th of uh, August, because as I say, it is providing just that last piece of protection uh, as we exit these various different measures uh, of okay. lockdown.